Blessed love, blessed love, blessed love, my beautiful people. Blessed love, blessed good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time it is that you are watching this. God is good. If you are watching, it is simple mean that we are among the living. It is simple mean that you have made it and that we all have made it. This morning, I give God thanks. I thank him for so many things, but I thank him for life this morning. I thank him for you, my audience, who are watching. I thank him for families, for friends, for every single thing, for the good and for the bad. I thank him that he allow me to be able to share not only this as a story time, but also as a testimony. Because this morning, it is a testimony of a true story that I do want to share with you this morning, my beautiful people, families and friends. Now, this morning, I get up at my bed, and I'm feeling so blessed, because I am blessed. And it doesn't matter what the situation is this morning, you are blessed. I want you to realize and to acknowledge that we are all blessed. We are faced with different situations we all face. And everyone in these times are going through something. Whatever you are going through, it might not be what I'm going through. Whatever I am going through, maybe it's not what you are going through. But I want you to stay focused and to bear in mind that the God of yesterday is still the God of today. And so, this morning, you know, I get up and I said, you know, let I share a testimony with you. And it's a form of a story time because this Leah and, um, you know, Leah Authentic Journey, I've started this um, vlogging for a while now. But it's like, it is my journey. So from time to time, I don't really post. But this is my journey. This is my lifestyle. This is, this is how I live. I'll get up in the morning. I have my prayer. And I will walk to work sometimes. Sometimes I will drive. Um, sometimes, you know, it depends on the feelings. Because, you know, sometimes you go to bed feeling good. And you wake up in the morning, you know, your body in ache and pains. And sometimes you go to bed in ache and pains. And you wake up and you're feeling fine. Because the God that we do serve always look out for us. He's a provider. He's a keeper. And so... I just want to share something with you this morning but before we do so I would like to read a scripture with you and the scriptures is Philippians chapter 3 and I'll be reading from verse 1 to 13 and I want you to sit down relax and just watch it just watch because so often we get distracted when it come on to the word of God. It is not my word. Don't watch me this morning. Don't look at me. Just listen to the words of God that I'm going to read. And I just want you to, you know, just find something out of it this morning. Because too often we shun away from the word of God. And as I said to you, whenever time I sit before the camera or if I make a voice out, I'm not only speaking to you, you know, but I minister also to myself, you know. I'm speaking to myself also. And so this morning, I decided to share this morning with you the scripture of Philippians 3, reading from verse 1 to 13. And don't be distracted. Leave the phone. It ring and make it ring. Because I too are distracted at times. But I'm saying to you, leave the phone, let it ring this morning. Because I have a testimony that I really want to share with you this morning. But I just want to read the scripture this morning. And verse 1 said, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you, it is safe. I'm going to read start over again. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. 
to me indeed is not grievous but for you it is safe beware of dogs beware of evil workers beware of the concision for we are the circumcision which worship god in the spirit and rejoice in christ jesus and have no confidence in the flesh through i might not also through i might also have confidence in the flesh if any other man thinketh that he had whereof he might trust in the flesh i more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of israel of the tribe of benjamin an hebrew of the hebrews as touching the law of pharisees concerning zeal persecuting the church touching the righteousness which is in the law which is in the law blameless but what things were gained to me those i counted lost for christ yea doubtless and i count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of christ jesus the lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them and doubt that I may win Christ. And he found in him not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made comfortable unto his death. If by any means I might if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I apprehend of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and teaching forth unto those things which are before. Finally and last, that was 13, he said, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this thou thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before whatever in the path let it go let it go let's look towards the future your past doesn't define you mm -mm. your past doesn't define you although some people might use your past to define you it doesn't because that's why jesus came he forgive our sins and we all have sins and come short of his glory every minute every hour we have to ask god for forgiveness even when you believe that everything is okay you feel like you're not sin you sin let us pray father in heaven this morning as i come humble before your throne i thank you this morning for waking me up this morning I thank you, O oh Lord, for the God that you are. Father God, I thank you that you are not like mankind. Father, I thank you for the health and for strength and for life this morning. Father God, I pray for each and every individual who are watching this morning. Father God, I ask, O oh God, that you wash me like you never have washed me before. Cleanse me, O oh God. Help me, O oh God. I know I'm not there, God. I don't reach, but I'm trying. Father God, we fall short of your glory daily. We are so weak and we need your strength to continue our path. We thank you, O oh God, that you are God and God all by yourself. We ask, O oh God, that you clear the pathway of our family this morning. 
we continue to pray for covering and we continue to ask, ask you, oh God, to just to pull the scale from our eyes so we can see more clearly from what the devil has set for us, oh God. We ask you, oh God, that you may wipe, oh God, and just set everything straight for us, God. We thank you that you are a forgiving God and you lead and direct us each and every day. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who you have sent to let us, O oh God. And as your Holy Spirit lead us daily, we thank you for our journey in spirit, O oh God. Father God, whatever the, the devil has planned, O oh God, not only today, we ask, O oh God, that you put clearance, O oh God. We pray, O oh God, that you seal the blood of Jesus right around our family. Father God, we pray, O oh God, that you continue to be our provider, our healer, our keeper. We thank you, God. If we were to continue to thank you this morning, Father God, we wouldn't finish, O oh God. I wouldn't finish because you're a God of mercy, a God of grace who will always be there. And this morning, I just want to say, thank you, God. Have your way with me. I thank you for your words. Though I may not abide by your words each and every day, O oh God, I ask for your forgiveness and ask for your strength. Help me not to live by the flesh, O oh God, but instead to live by your word and through the Holy Spirit, O oh God. Help me, O oh God, to live more like thine. We give you thanks. We give you honor. We give you praise on this blessed morning. Father, I just here to share a testimony. Oh, wonderful, oh Jesus. Oh God, that you are this morning. We give you glory, honor, and praise. You have proven yourself over and over to me, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We honor you. Oh, thank you. We give you glory because you are worthy this morning. As I come before you this morning, oh God, we lift praises unto you because you deserve it, God. We thank you. We thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus this morning, all glory belongs to you and only you. So much things is happening around the world, God, but you kept us. And this morning as I sit right here, oh God, I just want you to know, God, that I acknowledge who you is, oh God, this morning. And I just want to give you glory because you deserve every bit of it. We thank you. We honor you. And we praise you this morning. For yet another day among the living. We give you thanks to no other than your son Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But let me tell you something. There is so much to be thankful for. There is so much. To give God praise and honor and glory for. Sometimes we live and we feel like, you know, some people just hack as if they're here on their own. They pretend like there is no such God among the living. They pretend like they're existent. Does it come from God? And they pretend as if they don't need God. But I'm here to tell you this morning, we need God and there is a living God. And we are to worship and praise him and honor him. Take time for God. Give him the glory that he so deserves. Because he is worthy of every bit of our praise. And when you see me praising God, you might not have reason to praise God. Don't take it personal. Because you also have the privilege to give God honor and praise and to worship him. So let's give God thanks this morning. Let's give him glory. 
every bit every minute every hour every second let's magnify his name let's set him on high it doesn't matter how busy see it's almost time for me to go to work I'd rather to be late but I'm gonna give God the thanks and the glory that he so deserves. it is my desire to serve God Though the enemies is always after God's chosen people. But one thing, God always have our back. God is able this morning. We serve a mighty living God. We still sitting on the throne and working for us. And whatever situation that you might find yourself in this morning, I'm here to tell you that it too can change. It too. So this morning, I just want to share with you this morning a testimony. A testimony, guys. You see, yesterday I received a phone call. <laughs> Bless the Lord. And it has me crying. And, you know, it's like, you see, God, hmm, he's always on time, you know, and though at times, and I've proven God in so many different ways, but for the last couple of weeks, I can tell you, <laughs> God, he's working. He's still working. He's still working miracles. So guys, let I tell her what happened. 